What's up? It's Big D hanging out, and you're like, who's this lovely gal to your... It's your right, my left. Uh, Judy and I... Shaconi. Shaconi. Judy yeah. Shaconi. Uh, you might know her best from uh, Twilight, Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn, Part 2. Dos, uh, for our Spanish-speaking audience. Um, wow, you're bilingual. I, well... it's good. I can't go much farther than that, though. <laughs> Don't don't test me. Um, what was it like working with the Twilight Saga? Were you a fan coming into it? Yeah, I was a big fan. I had read all the books. I had already seen all the movies, and I was a bit of a try uh, a twi heart. So it was great. It was like really exciting. It was getting to be inside the book that I'd already read. Did you? I'd imagine being a part of the cast, you got to spend some time with the author. Uh, yeah, yeah, she was on set almost every day. It was crazy. You got to ask her questions about your character, find out more backstory. Yeah. Was it was it weird to have like the actual like movie production people and then the author? Like, did, were were there ever any conflicts between the two? There was a big red line, and no one was allowed to cross <laughs> over. Like production, creation. Uh, no, not at all. Uh, she was just around, and she's a she's a producer on it anyway, and so she was just there to help out. And I think it, it worked better because it meant that what we were creating never went too far away from the book, so it would always be within the fans' imaginations. Do you think the fans would have freaked out if something went like way over here? Like, way like, over, like if all of a sudden you and Edward just ran off together? I know. And it was I, like, bam, bam, the end. I'm like 2013, <laughs> get with it, hello. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they, they, I suggested that, but they just didn't seem to. They were like, it very you well. know what? What happens yeah. after the movie? Is up to you guys. <laughs> Uh, I do want to plug because you are uh, in the Twin Cities for a special occasion uh, tonight. Uh, you are at the Walmart Maple Grove. It's 9451 Dunkirk Lane. You are actually signing copies of Breaking Down Part 2, which comes out tonight at midnight, correct? Tonight yes. at midnight. Yes, yes, And yes. you're going to sign copies. Yes, I am. I'm getting my hand ready. Dude, you know, <laughs> see, I never sign anything, but if I did, I'm prepared. I go, I do this. Right. And then go like this, that, mm-hmm. and then this. And then that, and then I'm good to go yeah. for it. And then while. it should be good. Okay. And then, of course, every now and again, just that. That deal. Like, come on like, now. Like, it's taken a lot of work. Like, like oh, okay, I can, I can do it. Like, you should sound like four and be like, that's it, everybody, thank you. They'll be like, Please. what? <laughs> My sister, she was next. I'm like so lucky to be there doing it. No, I'll sign as long as possible. So, again, uh, that's tonight you're signing mm-hmm. the Twilight Saga mm-hmm. Breaking. Dawn Part 2. And we're giving away some gifts. For the first 100 oh. people there, there's like a goodie bag. Mm-hmm. Do you know what's in it? Edward. No, when you joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> no, there's a, like a soundtrack and the books and oh, some other goodies. That's yeah. awesome. So that's tonight. Mm-hmm. Walmart in, uh, in Maple Grove off of Dunkirk Lane. What what were you working on before? Like like what brought you to the El Twilight Loco. Saga? I was in there serving chicken. No, <laughs> hey, I love some chicken. So that's fine. Uh, no, before that, what was I doing? I can't even remember what my life was about before Twilight happened. Uh, I was doing other in England. I did a show called EastEnders, which is uh, like the number one show there, sort of a soap opera drama. And then in America, I'd done King of Queens, NCIS, and various TV things, and a bit of film. But definitely Twilight. Twilight is the uh, my peak so far. <laughs> did you obviously you had the experience going into Twilight? Did you notice once you did Twilight, like all of a sudden, like girl, we went to middle school together. You remember, right? That yeah. we had that class that time. You yeah, know, what I'm saying, right? totally. It was like, oh my god, I haven't seen you for ages, and I'm like, I haven't seen you ever. <laughs> Don't know you. <laughs> Security. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, we're cousins. Yeah. <laughs> Ask your mom. I swear, we're cousins. Yes. Uh, m- musically, what do you, what do you like? Uh, I love a bit of Rihanna, a bit of a Jason Mraz. I'm kind of eclectic with my mix. Sometimes something that gets me spurred on to dance and chilled and relaxing. What uh, do you? Let's say you got a playlist for a day that you're shooting versus a day that you're driving around and right. picking up kitty litter. Right. I'm just guessing you have a cat. You don't I have don't. A cat. Oh, okay. I look like, no, like I have t- when I go back to my house, it's 300 cats. No man like, in her eyes. Mommy's either. back! Just because I don't have a ring on the thing don't mean I got five cats. Okay, Okay. well, let's say you're running around. Do you, do you have different music that you like to hear? Uh, when I was preparing for Twilight, I got Queen of the Damned. It's a, it's a, a film with a, a Aaliyah. Leash, yeah, Aaliyah in it. And I got the soundtrack of that, which had really like hardcore like rock music. It was like, I want to die! <laughs> and I'm like playing that in my ears, kind of, I want to like, die! Yeah. 
I guess. Uh, so depending on the character, I change the music for that if I'm on set. And during the day, then definitely Jason Mraz, um, I'm trying to think, Robin Thicke, kind of smooth grooves, keeping it low key. Because when you're driving in LA, you sometimes do want to die. I've only <laughs> ridden in a cab in LA and I couldn't drive. Like that is, right. and I'm like, Right. I like text my family. I love you. They're like, why did you? I'm like, never mind. I've got, it. I got there fine. I'm okay. So that's why you need the chill out music to keep it calm. Is there anything you had to do in the movie you did weren't comfortable with, whether it be like stunt related or anything that you were like? Oh. They got me to do this stunt uh, where we arrived, and when the Amazon vampires arrived, they wanted us to drop. Uh, about 40 feet from the air, like through the trees and land. And so they gave us a day to practice and they put harnesses on us. And then they pulled us up to the top of the tree and then they dropped us. And I thought when they drop you- I can't even do carnival right? rides. They would drop you like slow because you're attached to something and then you would just kind of glide and they would speed it up. No, what they do is they literally just go, let go. <laughs> and then at the last minute they like stop it. And so you have like 39.999999 feet where you're just going, ah, to certain death. Can we get that on like, on like the bonus features on the Blu-ray? Because like, I can see you the first time like, oh my God. The free and going, I love you, Mom. You're like, we're going we're gonna to have to do that again, guys. Yeah. I feel like that's not the final. So there was like five takes of me and Safrina, ah, <laughs> landing like that. Uh, and then finally I was like, okay, I'm an actress. I've studied method. So I just had to like bring my Zafrina face in and then I just had to hold the vampiric You're like, pose. Go Zafrina. And then I just went Wah! like that. But secretly my stomach was going upside down and was like round about here. <laughs> Uh, are your family, is your family already hitting you up for copies of the DVD? Uh, they hit me up for copies of uh, my autograph and pictures and everything so they can hand them out. I went to Birmingham to do a Twilight convention and I signed so many pictures of myself. I think I've created a whole new currency in Birmingham, England <laughs> where you can buy things using Zafrina autograph pictures. I'm not going to keep you because we need to get you warm. I'm seeing goosebumps popping up. It's cold in here. So uh, here's the deal. Tonight you're hanging out. Uh, to March 1st already. I know, it's crazy. That's That means it's warming up here. You're here when it's cold, give it like another month and we'll be like wearing shorts. In my bikini. <laughs> <laughs> when? No, uh, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> Walmart, Maple Grove, uh, 9451 Dunkirk Lane. Um, that's today, 11 p.m. tonight. Mm -hmm. First 100 people in line at 11 p.m. will get uh, a Breaking Dawn gift bag. To commemorate the film. Yes. You know what? We just met, and I'm already proud of you. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming. This has been fun.